A group of Blaine High School students started out their Wednesday morning with a bang and a bash. Not the kind of bash you're thinking of, but the Bengals Against Starvation and Homelessness. The students are participating in a nationwide We Won't Rest campaign where they'll work around social issues. One of the things that uh, was on the plate was We Act and We Day. And so the group needed to choose a global and a local project. And so we um, talked about it for a couple weeks and they really thought that Feed My Starving Children was something that all of Blaine High School felt passionate about already. So they chose um, Feed My Starving Children. It's something that we can serve at here um, locally, but it's benefiting globally. Not only will the student leaders in the group be participating, but the whole school will be getting involved. We've had groups of um, between 30 and 60 students go there every single month uh, from all of the school year, September, and I have it scheduled all the way through May. Locally, they'll be teaming up with the nonprofit Hope for Youth, which works with homeless youth in the North Metro suburbs. Often they'll call and um, as a homeless liaison, I know of a variety of community projects that are going on or nonprofits in the area and Hope for Youth was just a perfect fit um, for what they were doing and their focus on homelessness and um, hunger. Though many of the students may not directly be affected by those issues, Carrie says many of these issues hit very close to home. As of yesterday, we have identified 750 students throughout the district as experiencing homelessness and 170 of them are unaccompanied youth, so without their parent or guardian. The passionate students even figured out a creative way to get teachers involved. You know, the students started, they wanted to do um, penny wars or a coin drive, and that's just been done so often and so many times that they wanted to do something exciting and fun and, and different. So we threw around a lot of ideas and how can we get students excited? And so finally they decided like a teacher against teacher, a match, and yet we didn't know how that worked in bracketed systems, and all of a sudden somebody said survivor. They chose 12 of their favorite teachers to go head-to-head -head in a fundraiser designed like the popular TV show. So basically, um, they each have a container with their picture and name on it. Uh, we'll be voting with their donations at lunch and also in the teachers' classrooms. Um, all donations will be counted at the end of every day, and the teacher with the least amount of donations thus far will be eliminated. The students are confident they'll reach their goal. In fact, confident would be an understatement. Our goal was to raise 15000 by May 15, 2015, but we're going to blow that out of the water. And with this campaign, students want to accomplish much more than just raising money. I want everyone to be involved and to realize that there's more to the world than just you. There's people around you, and you can, even though you might not change the world overnight, you can make a change. Amira hopes that this will just be the tip of the iceberg. People should start opening their eyes to the world and finding out more about their communities and how they might be able to help. For North Metro TV News, Takazen reporting.